Hey guys, um, this is the first time I've ever done a video, um, a video log. Uh, and I don't know how it's going to work out, but I thought that maybe I might begin to try, uh, to chronicle things a little bit and, uh, to start here. I can't get into everything, um, just with this one, but it's an introduction. So, uh... To begin with, here is the current surroundings that I'm uh, that I've got through Camden Council uh, as a result of having been placed here um, from the eighth of May. Uh, I'm still in here a number of months later as a result of having barricaded myself in for a lot of reasons that you uh, will get to know over the course of time, but leave it that um, it's about my survival and um, it's me fighting back against an unjust type of situation that originates with the border force and ends with uh, the local councils doing the bidding of the border force like they're, you know, like eating out of their hand, basically, um, which is unfortunate um, because I have cerebral palsy and I'm a mobility impaired person and um, instead of looking at it through the lens of human rights, the local council and all of the branches of the UK government seem to look at this as a situation of them being able to say that because I'm a, a migrant uh, to this country that uh, I don't have the right to a roof over my head even though I paid a whole lot of taxes um, before I went homeless and destitute. Uh, they seem not to care about that and they seem to just think that they can do anything they want to do to anybody including me but especially me um, and people like me because of the lack of migration rights. So with that said, um, I kind of, I gamed them into putting me under a roof um, at long last. I was supposed to be here for three days and I've been here for three months instead. So here it is. Um, the place is a small bed sit and I'm due out at any time. Um, they haven't issued the bailiff's warrant yet. I'm waiting on that, and I've been filing various legal actions to try to slow that down. And I've also had a human rights assessment through Camden Council that it looks like that's not going to change anything, um, because it never does. I've had them before, and they haven't changed anything yet. So why would this one be changing anything now? But with that said, here we go. Here's the tour. As you can see, it's very, very small, and I have my laptop here, and the bed here, and my little speaker for music, and the mini fridge actually came with the place, and there are my documents. You can see there are a lot of documents. They're all to do with the case, and essentially... I have a little TV that I found for cheap online that I've mounted to the wall. Um, I had hardwired internet hardwired in here. I haven't paid for it yet. They'll probably disconnect it when they realize that I don't have enough money to pay for it. That's BT, but maybe um, I can figure that out too, who knows. I'm already crowdfunding for my Cricklewood room and um, who knows what will happen. Maybe I can crowdfund for everything else too. So there is the washing machine that came with the place and the sink and the coffee maker that I received yesterday um, also through Amazon. I get everything um, off Amazon um, at kind of a discount because of my 10 year history with them. And they know that they have me kind of as a captive audience because 
Because of my legs, I tend uh, to order a lot of things online and go online to do a lot of things that I don't do outside, although I do a lot of stuff outside. But as the last few years have passed, I've gotten a lot less um, able to go out every day and do everything that I used to do even just a few years ago. And you can also blame that on kind of like a lack of the physiotherapy because the NHS refuses to give me physiotherapy. It refuses to give me mental health. Um, I've been homeless on the street for four years, but they seem to not really care about that either. Um, and by the way, I'm not trying to say that my situation is the worst in the world. I'm not black and pregnant at Yarl's Wood. If I was black and pregnant at Yarl's Wood, I would be a lot worse off. I'm white and male and well-spoken and about to train in law, so I have certain privileges and certain advantages that other people don't have. Uh, specifically, Jimmy Mubenga, who was killed in 2014, I think it was, um, by some G4S guards who were working at the home office and they broke his arms and crushed his lungs as they dragged him aboard the deportation plane at Heathrow and he was dead by the time they had him in the passenger seat and then they had to actually drag his dead body off the plane and it traumatized a BA a BA stewardess uh, who had to have counseling after that I'm sure she has had plenty of mental health counseling not just like the people at Grenfell Tower are going to have plenty of counseling and help not. Um, so, you know, there's a lot going on for everybody, and I'm not trying to big up my own situation at all. It's just that I happen to have a little bit more working for me in the way of um, being aggressive towards those uh, who would do me wrong and do my friends wrong, and being well-spoken in that I was raised very well by very smart people in New York City, and, um, and that core has never left me. Um, I've always been intellectually advanced and very able to think through things and analyze things. I have a short temper, but uh, <laughs> that's to be expected given everything. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, I think, I think I'll let that be enough, because this is almost eight minutes, and y'all are probably getting tired of listening to me. Um, so this is the first one of several. The next one will be at the point that I get the bailiff's notice. I will make another video where I show you the bailiff's notice, and it will have the date of the bailiffs on it. And uh, at this point, the door is barricaded, which is a criminal offense in residential properties. It's not a criminal offense in commercial properties, but it is a criminal offense in residential properties. Uh, so I've already committed a criminal offense by having barricaded the door of this unit. Um, I'll show you the barricades, the, the, um, I'll show you the door latches that act as the barricades, um, as and when appropriate. Uh, I'm not sure who's going to be watching this, and I would rather they not see the barricades up close. And there will be other barricades added, um, before the attendance of the bailiffs and the police, uh, when the police arrive, um, I will be intentionally um, inviting them to arrest me because of the fact of that being the only way to progress this very long overdue and urgent human rights case that is the life of me of the last seven years. Unfortunately, I have to force my own arrest as a means of trying to progress this. It sucks. I really wish there would be lawyers who would defend me now to avoid a situation where I'd have to get myself arrested in order to be able to progress this, but no law firm has assented to being, um, to being my lawyers. So I will have to settle for having a lawyer from Hodge, Jones, and Allen 
when I'm already inside the police station after I've already been arrested. Um, it sucks, but it is what it is, because according to a lot of different law, um, law firms, they are at capacity. Have a good night, guys, and um, I'll talk to you after I get the bailiff's notice. All right, thanks. Bye.